When autumn rolls around, I love making soups. When there's a first a little chill in the air, it's time to break out the stock pot and make a delicious soup for autumn or for holiday. Now, butternut squash soup is great for Thanksgiving, but I find when you add a little pear in, it adds another layer of flavor and really makes it feel autumnal. What we're gonna do first is melt some butter in our stock pot. And that's going to start melting almost right away. We've got a nice high heat, which I'm going to turn down because unless you're careful, this butter can turn into brown butter pretty quickly. Now, brown butter is lovely, but it can also burn really fast. So we're going to turn this down to about a medium heat, and that's going to start melting really nicely. Now, what we've done is we've taken our fresh butternut squash and we've cubed it into small pieces. The more uniform you can cut these, the more evenly they're going to cook. And then we also cut our pear into even sized chunks as well. So in with the butter will go the butternut squash. And what we're really hoping to do here is just soften this up for about five minutes. Then we'll add in our pear. And then some fresh minced ginger. This adds such a nice flavor and it pairs so beautifully with the soup. So our veg and pear have been now softening for about five minutes and they're super aromatic and they're ready for a little salt and pepper and then our liquids. Now we're going to add in some salt and then add in some cracked black pepper. I'm gonna give that a quick stir. This will continue to help draw some of the liquid out of the squash and also the pear. Then we're going to add even more pear flavor. This is pear juice you buy in the supermarket, another supermarket shortcut. So in goes the pear juice, but we need to thin that out a little bit because pear juice right out of the can is gonna be a little bit strong and concentrated. So I'm gonna add some low sodium vegetable broth. This is gonna help thin the soup a bit. And notice that I'm using low sodium vegetable broth. You can always add more salt later, you can't take it away. So I like to always use a low sodium broth if I'm using a prepared broth from the supermarket. Now we're gonna bring this up to a medium high heat and let this cook for about 30 minutes. What we're going to do before we take the immersion blender to the soup is add a little creaminess and in goes some yogurt. Now, once we've got that all in place, I'm going to use an immersion blender. Now, the biggest tip I can give you with an immersion blender, always make sure that this round bell portion stays beneath the liquid. That way you won't end up wearing what's in the bowl or putting a brand new pattern on your walls, right? So we're gonna get this down into the soup and now once it's inside and down below, we'll just start pureeing all of the veg together, giving that a little bit of a press and it starts to beautifully smooth out the ingredients. Nice. And obviously the longer you work with this, the more creamy it becomes and that yogurt adds to that creaminess. All right, this looks nice and creamy and completely blended. Now I'll take this up and out of the soup Knock that on the side of the bowl just a little bit to get the last little bit out. And now we're ready to ladle into bowls and garnish. This is such a nice soup and it's beautiful the autumn season of the year, full of butternut squash, pear. Now we'll even these out. And now comes the garnish. I like to garnish this with some chopped walnuts, which you can buy in the supermarket. And if you really want to add an extra punch of flavor and a little bit of texture, some cooked crumbled bacon is always a nice touch as well. And if you're looking for more of these great recipes, just simply hit the subscribe button. When you subscribe, we're always going to notify you when new recipes drop, and we're always shooting new supermarket shortcuts to make your life a little easier in the kitchen.